What compels people to traverse some of the most perilous landscapes on Earth? In the heart of Africa lies the Democratic Republic of the Congo, a land where dense jungles, treacherous roads, and the constant threat of conflict create one of the world's deadliest journeys. Join us as we delve into the harrowing stories of those who navigate the Congo's treacherous paths, risking life and limb in search of survival, prosperity, and sometimes, simply a place to call home. The DRC, often referred to simply as Congo, is a country of stark contrasts. While it boasts some of the richest natural resources on the planet, including vast mineral wealth, it is also one of the poorest and most unstable regions in the world. The vast Congolese jungle, which covers a significant portion of the country, is both a treasure trove of biodiversity and a formidable barrier to transportation and communication. Imagine driving along a narrow, muddy path where one wrong move can send you plummeting into a ravine or swamp. These are the so-called roads that many Congolese must traverse daily. In the wet season, these paths become virtually impassable, turning into quagmires that swallow vehicles whole. Even in the dry season, they remain hazardous, plagued by potholes, fallen trees, and the ever-present threat of armed bandits. One of the most infamous routes is the Kisangani Bukavu Road. Stretching over 700 kilometers, it cuts through dense rainforest and crosses numerous rivers. For those brave or desperate enough to undertake this journey, the road promises a grueling ordeal. Drivers and passengers alike must contend with not only the physical challenges of the terrain, but also the psychological toll of constant vigilance against potential attacks. The dangers of the Congolese roads are not limited to the natural environment. The human element adds an even more terrifying dimension to these journeys. Armed groups, ranging from local militias to organized rebel factions, frequently set up roadblocks to extort money, goods, and sometimes lives from travelers. Kidnappings and assaults are tragically common, adding a layer of fear that permeates every trip. Consider the experience of a truck driver navigating the perilous route from Kinshasa to the eastern provinces. On one particularly harrowing trip, the driver and his passengers were ambushed by a group of armed men. Forced to abandon their vehicle, they spent days trekking through the jungle, evading capture and scavenging for food. This tale is one of many, highlighting the daily reality for those who rely on these routes for their livelihood. Or reflect on the plight of a young mother fleeing violence in her village with her two children. Their journey to relative safety involved crossing hundreds of kilometers of treacherous terrain on foot. They faced not only natural obstacles, but also the constant threat of being caught by the same militias that had driven them from their home. Stories like these are a testament to the resilience and determination of those who navigate these deadly paths in search of a better life. While the roads of the Congo are notoriously dangerous, the country's vast network of rivers offers an alternative, though not necessarily safer mode of transportation. The mighty Congo River, the second longest river in Africa, serves as a crucial artery for commerce and travel. However, navigating its waters is fraught with peril. Boats on the Congo River range from small, makeshift rafts to larger, overcrowded ferries. The risks are numerous. Strong currents, hidden sandbanks, and sudden storms can capsize vessels with little warning. Furthermore, the same armed groups that menace travelers on land also patrol the waters, turning what should be a scenic journey into a potential nightmare. In one tragic incident, a passenger ferry traveling from Kinshasa to Mbandaka capsized in a storm, resulting in the deaths of dozens of people. Survivors recounted how they clung to debris for hours before being rescued, their ordeal a stark reminder of the ever-present dangers of river travel in the Congo. Consider the seasoned boatman who has spent decades navigating the Congo River. His boat, a rickety wooden vessel, ferries goods and passengers between remote villages. He has witnessed firsthand the unpredictability of the river. On one journey, his boat was caught in a fierce storm. With waves threatening to swamp the vessel, he and his crew battled to keep it afloat, ultimately making it to shore with their passengers shaken but safe. Another river traveler shares her story of fleeing violence in her hometown. With no other options, she and her family boarded a crowded ferry bound for Kinshasa. The journey was arduous, with little food or water, and constant fear of attack. Yet the river also represented hope a lifeline to a new beginning. Beyond the roads and rivers, the Congolese jungle itself is a formidable barrier. Dense and teeming with life, it is a place where danger lurks around every corner. From deadly wildlife to disease, the jungle poses its own unique set of challenges. The Congo Basin is home to a staggering array of wildlife, including some of the most dangerous animals on the planet. Leopards, 
crocodiles, and venomous snakes are just a few of the creatures that call the jungle home. For those who must venture into these territories, the risk of animal attacks is a constant concern. Equally menacing are the diseases that thrive in the jungle. Malaria, cholera, and Ebola are just a few of the illnesses that can strike without warning. The lack of medical facilities in remote areas means that even a minor injury or illness can quickly become life-threatening. Consider the forest ranger who knows the jungle's dangers all too well. Tasked with protecting the region's endangered wildlife, he often spends weeks at a time deep in the forest. On one mission, he and his team were tracking poachers when they encountered a leopard. The ensuing standoff was tense, but they managed to scare the animal away without harm. Stories like his highlight the delicate balance between humans and nature in this remote part of the world. Another account comes from a physician working with a humanitarian organization. She describes the challenges of providing medical care in the jungle, from setting up mobile clinics to treating patients with limited resources. Her work is a lifeline for many, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the hardships. Despite the myriad dangers, the people of the Congo display incredible resilience and resourcefulness. Communities have learned to adapt and survive in one of the most challenging environments on Earth. Their stories are not just of struggle, but also of triumph and hope. In many parts of the Congo, local communities have banded together to improve their living conditions. Village cooperatives work to repair roads, build schools, and provide essential services. These grassroots efforts are vital in a country where government support is often lacking. One inspiring example is the village of Kimbimi, where residents have come together to build a community center that serves as a school, clinic, and meeting place. The project, funded by local contributions and international aid, has transformed the village, offering new opportunities for education and healthcare. A teacher in such a village speaks passionately about the impact of the community center. For many children, it is their first opportunity to receive an education. The teacher's dedication to the students is evident as they describe the joy of seeing them learn and grow. Stories like these are a testament to the power of education in breaking the cycle of poverty and violence. In another part of the Congo, a former child soldier now works with an NGO to rehabilitate others like him. His journey from a life of violence to one of healing and support is a powerful example of the potential for change. His work involves not only counseling and education but also helping former child soldiers reintegrate into society. The Congo's deadly journeys are a stark reminder of the challenges faced by those who live in one of the world's most dangerous environments. Yet, amid the peril, there is also a profound sense of resilience and hope. The stories of those who navigate the Congo's treacherous paths, whether by road, river, or through the jungle, are a testament to the human spirit's capacity to endure and overcome. In the face of adversity, the people of the Congo continue to fight for a better future. Their journeys, fraught with danger, also carry the promise of new beginnings and the hope of a brighter tomorrow. As we reflect on their stories, we are reminded of the strength and courage that define the human experience, even in the most challenging of circumstances. Thank you for joining us on Africa Info Hub. Kindly stay informed, share your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe for more nuanced perspectives on Africa's geopolitical landscape.